Boxer fans are here with trainer Sh Ronnie Shields, trainer of Air Zandi Lara. Um, if you, could you just tell me a little bit first off how long you've been working with Air Zandi and what your, uh, how you first started working with him? Uh, I met, met him in uh, Chicago uh, like a couple years ago. Right. And uh, he fought in the same car but one day at the Palo Manonaggi. Right. And after that fight, you know, I was with his manager, Luis Cubas Jr. Mm -hmm. and they came up and he asked me, you know, would I be interested? I told him, yeah. And ever, ever since then, you know, he's come down to Houston and matter of fact, he just moved to Houston. And you had told me that working with Cuban fighters was a little different than like yes. you know, Americans. In what ways was it different kind of working well, with him? Well, you know, it's just that they, they have like one way of doing things and, mm -hmm. you know, mostly just boxing, you know, but I told him we have to change some of that, you know, because it's not the amateurs anymore, but, you know, he could still keep his style, but we just have to add to it. And, you know, he was all with that and, you know, and everything worked out perfect. And from when you first started working with him till now, what changes have you seen in him? Oh, man, you know, he's sitting down more with his punches and he's getting a lot more knockouts now, you know. And it doesn't matter who he fight, you know, you want to fight the best fighters out there, but they're afraid to fight him. So, mm -hmm. you know, we just have to find fights where we can. We're picking our spots, but, you know, the spots are coming good now. So hopefully within the next uh, fight or two that we can uh, be fighting for some world title. And after his fight with Paul Williams, it was a fight, overwhelmingly, people felt he won. He lost on, that night. Was it frustrating to see him give a good performance, yet the big fights kind of eluded him? Yeah, because, you know, you know how it is, man. You know, sometimes when, you know, you beat somebody decisively, mm. like you beat Paul Williams and then get the decision, you know, that scares everybody else off, you know? Yeah. So, you know, no, but, but, you know, he realizes one thing that, in this game, you have to keep on going. Yeah. You know, no matter what we have to do, we have to do it. So, you know, sooner or later, they have to come to us. And I know Arizandi, he, he had wanted a fight with Canelo Alvarez. I heard Canelo Alvarez had told one of the Golden Boy matchmakers he didn't want to fight Laura. Right. I mean, what, what do you think when you heard that? Well, I heard that, but, you know, I mean, I don't know. You know, uh, Alvarez is a fighter, man. So, yeah. I, you know, you really don't see a lot of fighters turning away fights, you know. Yeah. Maybe it could have been his management, but I really don't think it was Canelo. Okay. And there there's rumors now on Twitter and everything it might be Marcos Maidana fighting Arizan or fighting Sal Alvarez uh, September fifteenth. You know Maidana's best was at one forty. Are you, you yes. surprised to hear that? I'm very surprised to hear that, you know. Uh, I mean, but isn't he fighting Keith Thurman? No, they I think he withdrew they, they scrapped that fight with Keith Thurman. Really? Just so they there's, that's the rumor, you know. Okay. It's starting to leak, so. I think it's crazy, you know, Madonna coming off a loss. Yeah. Plus, he's a 140 pounder. Yeah. You know, he's not even a junior, he's not even a welterweight. Yeah. So he's going to skip two divisions to go up. You know, what sense does that make? I mean, yeah. it doesn't make sense, you know, to me. But, you know, this is boxing, so, you know, sometimes you get things that don't make sense. Gotcha. And if you can't get the Alvarez fight, uh, like you said, you got to keep pushing. Anything other fights stand out well, for Arizona? I mean, you know, uh, look, you know, he could fight the one out of out of Brundage and uh, Sphinx. You know, yeah. You know, we have to do what we have to do first tonight. I mean, you know, on a Saturday night, we have to, you know, I think we have to look impressively against Freddie Hernandez mm -hmm. first, and then you know, take a look at the one out of the Brundage and uh, Sphinx fight. You know, uh -huh. I think that's that'll be a good option for us because, you know, I mean, it's for a world title, so you know, uh, we can't have for nothing less. All right, Ronnie Shields, thanks a lot. We appreciate it.